Hi, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will tell you about Hello Outlander fans. Welcome to another episode of Outlander Insider, where we dive deep into the latest developments of our favorite show. Today, we're going to talk about the shocking twist that happened in Outlander Season 7 Episode 8, Turning Points, which was the mid-season finale. If you haven't watched the episode yet, be warned, there are major spoilers ahead. In this episode, we finally learned the truth about Rob Cameron, the mysterious man who kidnapped Jemmy and stole Roger's notes on time travel. Rob Cameron is not just a greedy opportunist who wants to use Jemmy as a sacrifice for his own benefit. He is actually a descendant of Gillis Duncan, the witch who tried to kill Claire and Jamie in Season 1 and Season 3. Rob Cameron inherited Gillis's obsession with time travel and her belief that a child born out of time can open the portal to the past or the future. Rob Cameron's plan was to use Jemmy as a key to travel back to the 18th century and join the Jacobite cause, which Jealous was also passionate about. He believed that he could change history and prevent the defeat of the Scottish rebels at Culloden. He also wanted to find Jealous and learn more about her secrets of time travel. He thought that Roger's notes, which were based on Claire's knowledge and experience, would help him achieve his goal. However, Rob Cameron's plan backfired when he tried to use Jemmy as a sacrifice at Crane and Dunn the ancient stone circle that serves as a portal for time travelers. Jemmy, who has inherited his parents' ability to travel through time, resisted Rob Cameron's attempt and fought back with his own power. Jemmy managed to escape from Rob Cameron's grasp and ran back to Roger and Brianna, who had followed them to the stone circle. Before continue, I request you to subscribe our channel and press on the bell icon button for new videos notifications on time. Rob Cameron was left alone at Crane Dunn holding Roger's notes in his hand. He decided to try to travel through time by himself, hoping that he could still fulfill his mission. He touched one of the stones and disappeared in a flash of light. But where did he go? Did he succeed in traveling back to the 18th century? Or did he end up somewhere else? Or did he die in the process? We don't know the answer yet, but we can speculate based on some clues from the books and the show. In the books, Rob Cameron does travel back to the 18th century, but he arrives too late to join the Jacobite cause. He meets Jealous Duncan, who is still alive and hiding in Jamaica. She recognizes him as her descendant and tries to use him for her own purposes. She also reveals some shocking secrets about time travel that have implications for Claire and Jamie's future. In the show, however, we don't know if Rob Cameron will meet Gillis Duncan or not. We also don't know if he will encounter Claire and Jamie again or if he will pose a threat to them or their family. We do know that Rob Cameron has Roger's notes, which contain valuable information about time travel that could be dangerous in the wrong hands. We also know that Rob Cameron is not the only one who is interested in time travel. There are other people who are looking for clues and secrets about this phenomenon, such as Master Raymond, Ottertooth, Wendy Godonner, and Buck Mackenzie. What will happen next? How will Rob Cameron's actions affect the course of history and the fate of our beloved characters? We'll have to wait until Outlander Season 7 returns in 2024 to find out. Until then, stay tuned for more Outlander Insider episodes where we'll discuss more theories, predictions, and insights about our favorite show. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thanks for watching, please like, share, and give feedback.